This is the Sturmgewehr, storm rifle. Placed into initial production late in the war, it was initially fielded in 1942. It replaced the German K-98K as the standard service rifle of the Wehrmacht. It was chambered in 7.92 Kurs, a shortened cartridge in comparison to the K-98K. It allowed for using less raw materials, a more compact design, and also was more effective out to medium engagement ranges. It features a 30 round magazine, although troops generally only loaded it to a maximum of 25 rounds. It's a select fire rifle capable of both semi-automatic and fully automatic, and it also has a menacing, sleek, futuristic design. The Sturmgewehr had tremendous tactical impact. It provided superior firepower at greater ranges than any other rifle available at that time. It was effective in the full range between 50 and 200 yards. Therefore, it could handle the job of either the submachine gun or the bolt action rifle. With the Sturmgewehr, engaging multiple targets at 100 or up to 200 yards becomes dramatically more commonplace and effective, thereby forever changing the dynamics of the battlefield. Given the tremendous potential of the Sturmgewehr, it's somewhat surprising that the Germans did not rush it into production in 1942. However, initially, Hitler did not embrace the concept. He was concerned about yet another weapons development project. He also had competing resource requirements for 1942 and 43, and there was concern about the production of yet another non-standard caliber. Finally, Hitler embraced the MP44, naming it the Sturmgewehr, and it was placed into mass production in 1945, the last year of the war. But the Sturmgewehr was available a full two years earlier. What if the Sturmgewehr had been widely distributed to the German army in 1943? It would have negated the advantages of the American M1 Garand, had a major impact on the Russian front, and would have provided a dramatically different level of response to the Normandy invasion. The earlier adoption of the Sturmgewehr would most certainly have resulted in far greater Allied casualties and could have tipped the scales in close battles such as Monte Cassino, Bastogne, and Stalingrad.